Hi everyone, welcome to the webinar on Zoho Survey Integrations. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Miles Wivek, and in this session, we will cover all the integrations Zoho Survey supports and a short demonstration on how to use these integrations in your survey. If you have any questions while the webinar is on, feel free to ask them on the chat. Our team is on standby to help you. The initial portion of this webinar is pre-recorded. Later, a member of our team will take over for a live session to clarify a few of the more pertinent and interesting doubts that come up on chat. Like we mentioned in our webinar on the basics of Zoho Survey and the webinar on advanced features, Zoho Survey is integrated with Zoho CRM, Google Sheet, Zoho Sheet, Zoho Sales IQ, Zoho Campaigns, MailChimp, and Facebook. We have already covered the Facebook integration in our basics webinar, and we will be covering the rest in this webinar. So let's get started. Now first, let's start with the Zoho CRM integration. With this integration, you can now synchronize all of your survey responses within your CRM modules automatically. You can add and update records to CRM modules as soon as the survey responses are submitted in Zoho Survey. I have created an integrations feedback survey to which I have added the following questions. Name, email, which organization do you work for? Have you watched our basics and advanced webinars? Rate the webinar on the scale of five. Tell us what you didn't like about the webinar and what you liked most about the webinar, mobile and signature. The sixth and the seventh questions are conditional, which means that if you give a rating less than or equal to three, you will be prompted to the tell us what you didn't like about the webinar question. Whereas if you give us a rating greater or equal to four, you'll be prompted to the tell us what you liked the most about the webinar question. I'll use the survey to show you how integrations work in a survey. Before we start, make sure you have an account in Zoho CRM for this integration to work. Now go to the integration tab and click integrate in Zoho CRM section. Select a CRM module from the list and click continue. I'm going to select the leads module and you can map the fields of your survey to Zoho CRM and start transferring data from survey responses to CRM. If you do not have a suitable field, you can create a custom field in Zoho CRM and then map the field to the question. Here, for example, I am selecting company, last name, and phone from the Zoho CRM fields. They have been mapped to the corresponding which organization do you work for, name, and mobile questions in the survey respectively. You can also add values to your CRM fields directly for every response on your Zoho survey. For this, you need to select direct value in the CRM integration section and put in the values there. If you have a file upload or a signature question, you can also attach them to the CRM record. However, this option only turns up when you have either of those question types in your survey. I have now selected the signature question here. You can perform three actions here. Add record. This is used to add new records by pushing survey responses to CRM fields. It will add a new record for each response even if there are duplicate records. Update record. Select this to update existing records in CRM. As an extra, if you send your survey through your CRM, you can enable the option to pre-populate survey answers with information from Zoho CRM. Now, when your respondent opens the survey, the details which were already in the CRM will be shown to them with an option to edit them. For example, if the name or the email address is already available in CRM, the respondent need not type in their name while taking the survey. Those details will be pre-populated and displayed in the fields. Add or update record. When you select this, Zoho survey checks for duplicates within your CRM. If duplicate records are available, they will be updated. If there is no such record, the survey responses will be created as a new record. When you click save and publish the survey, you can view the list of responses pushed to CRM in CRM sync status. If you integrate your survey with Zoho CRM before publishing, the responses will be automatically synced, whereas if you integrate it after publishing, the previous responses should be synced on this page. 
also send surveys and view customer responses and summary reports from within the CRM module. To send an email survey from Zoho CRM, make sure Zoho survey is integrated at the CRM end. And to do that, go to your CRM account and go to Setup. Under Marketplace, click Zoho. Now find Zoho survey here and click Setup Now. And then click Get Started Now. And then click Please Configure Your Current Account and click Summit and you're done. Now to create an email template that has a link to the survey, go to your Zoho CRM setup and click Templates under Customization. Click the New Template button and select the CRM module which will be associated with your email template. Now I'm selecting Leads module. Click Next and select a template from the gallery and you will be taken to the template editor. Enter your message here. Let's say, mm, we hope you're satisfied with the webinar. Please give us a quick feedback. While you edit your template, click the survey link icon at any time to insert the survey link. In the pop-up, select which survey you would like to add and the text which would be linked. Click insert and you will see that the text you've entered is linked to your survey. Give a title and subject to your template, save the template, and send it like you would send any mass email through CRM. Once you've integrated your responses to a module, you'll be able to view the survey responses in its records. For example, for my survey, it is integrated with the leads module. Click the Leads module, then select a record to go to the Records Details page. And under the Zoho Survey section, the details of all the email surveys sent to the lead or contact are displayed. The Sent By column and Source column show if the campaign has been sent from Zoho CRM via individual or mass email workflow alert or from Zoho campaigns. There's also a view response link for each survey. If the participant has not responded to a survey, there will not be any view response link. In that case, instead of view response, it will show yet to respond. In the survey results pop-up, you can select individual report to view the details of the responses from each lead or contact. You can also view a report of all the responses of this survey from here by simply clicking Summary Report. Also, you can take a survey on behalf of your customer. Assume that one of you attending this webinar chooses to answer my survey questions over the phone rather than answer via an email. In that case, I can take the email survey on the customer's behalf and submit the survey. All I need to do is click the required lead or contact and in the details page of the lead or contact, navigate to the Zoho survey related list and click the take survey link option. In the take survey pop-up, I will select the survey I wish to attend on behalf of the customer. I can then answer the questions in the survey pop-up and submit the survey. If a CRM user takes a survey on behalf of a lead or contact, it is treated as any other regular survey. If you want to differentiate the surveys you took and those your customers took, that's easy too. Just check for the attended by user entry for a survey under the source column. You can also create a survey and send surveys to customers by clicking the create survey or send survey links respectively. We've also included a way to integrate Zoho survey and Zoho CRM belonging to two different accounts by using the ZSE key. This key can be used to communicate between the accounts. To generate the ZSE key, go to the Zoho Survey homepage and click Setup. In the Integration Setup section, click ZSE key. The ZSE key is generated and your email address will be displayed along with the key. If you regenerate the ZSE key, the old one will be deleted automatically. By using the ZSE key and the email address, you can enable the configuration. 
log on to your Zoho CRM account with administrator privileges, go to your CRM's setup page, and click Zoho on the marketplace. Select Zoho survey on the page that comes up, and then manage if you've already set up your Zoho survey account with Zoho CRM. If not, then click setup and then get started now. Go to the edit button next to the mapped Zoho survey account and click on change next to mapped Zoho account. Type in the ZSE key and email address associated with the other user's Zoho survey account. Select the use all surveys from this account checkbox if you want to use all the surveys in this account. Otherwise, you can just clear this checkbox and select the portals that you want to use in the CRM account. Then select the add all administrator profile users to Zoho survey checkbox if you wish to add all administrators in Zoho CRM to Zoho survey. However, only the CRM users from the associated Zoho survey account will be displayed in this section. The CRM users who are not using Zoho Survey will be pushed to the Zoho Survey account. After this, click Submit. Let's also see how to remove this integration. You can deactivate your Zoho CRM integration at any time. We'll go to the same place where we did the integration. In the Integrations tab, in the Zoho CRM box, click Remove Integration. After you remove the integration, survey responses will not synchronize with Zoho CRM records. You have now seen all the features Zoho Survey provides for its integration with Zoho CRM. And now we move on to Zoho Sheet integration, which automatically pushes your responses from your survey into a Zoho Sheet, which is a spreadsheet, as soon as they are submitted. To integrate with Zoho Sheet, click Integrate in the Integration tab. When you click View Sheet, you will be taken to Zoho Sheet, where all the responses will be displayed. You can then edit or filter the responses to make further statistical analysis. Similar to Zoho Sheet integration, Google Sheet integration automatically pushes your responses from your survey into a Google spreadsheet as soon as they are submitted. To integrate your survey with Google Sheets, first you have to go to the Setup option and go to Apps and Services, and you will find Google Sheet as one of the options listed. Just click Connect and click Integrate and Zoho Survey will take you to an authentication page where you can choose your Google account and um, allow Zoho Survey to access it. And this will connect your Google Sheets account with your Zoho Survey account. And the next step is you going to the Integrations tab and finding Google Sheets and clicking the Integrate button on it. And you can choose to create a new sheet or use an existing sheet, save the name of the spreadsheet, and you're good to go. Click View Sheet to take a look at all the responses being stored in your Google Sheet. You can then edit or filter the responses in Google Sheet to make further analysis of the data. If you change the order of the questions in the survey, it will not be reflected in Sheet. Now if you want to break the integration, you can go to the Integrations tab and click Remove Integration anytime to remove the integration. With that, we have covered all the features of Google Sheets integration with Zoho Survey. Next, let's have a look at our Zoho Sales IQ integration. This integration helps you to track the website returning visitors by their name and email address. To integrate your survey with Zoho Sales IQ, click the Integrations tab for Zoho Sales IQ and select Integrate. You can then map the Zoho Survey question to Zoho Sales IQ visitor information and convert a survey respondent to a Zoho Sales IQ visitor. To track the respondent information for this particular survey, I have selected email address, name, and phone number in the email ID, name, and phone number fields respectively. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click Save, and the Sales IQ integration is done. If you need to send your survey to a lot of people, sending it through Zoho campaigns or MailChimp would be the best. You can link your survey with either of these email campaign software and send it to your contacts. To send your survey using campaigns, go to the Launch tab and click Email Campaigns. And then in Zoho Campaign, click Start. For this example, I have created a survey that I'm going to use to ask for feedback on this webinar. So I need to send the survey to all the attendees of the webinar. So to do that, I should click Campaigns and then on Advanced Campaigns, 
I click create campaign. If you don't have one that you can use, then click create new and regular campaign under Zoho survey. Now I should fill in the basic information page. I'll type in the campaign name, integrations, feedback, survey, and I'll choose the uh, survey I just created to add to my campaign. And the sender's details such as name. So I will also set the uh, email address and the reply to address and click next. And in the next step is where we create an email template and add some colors to the email. It is a simple drag and drop interface and is easy to add and edit content. Now I can either go with uh, templates that I already have saved in my campaigns account or uh, pre-designed templates or use any basic templates. I want our campaign email to look good so I'm just going to go with a pre-designed template and choose the template that catches my eye. This one looks good. So I'm just going to go ahead and click use this template and I will be taken to the editor page where I can actually edit the content of the email template. So once I'm done with the content, I can just click save and proceed. And here I have to choose the mailing list that I wish to send the campaigns to. So for this, I'm going to choose the webinar attendees uh, campaigns list that I've already created and click next. And before we send out the actual email campaign, Zoho campaign will recommend us to send it to their compliance team to get it reviewed, uh, which is a very good uh, thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and click send for review and wait for the approval. And once the team uh, reviews the template and approves it, our campaigns would be ready to roll. All right, so now our campaign has been approved by the compliance team, so we are good to go. So I can basically choose the kind of schedule that I want to send uh, my camp or run my campaigns on. I can send it immediately by clicking the send now button or select a schedule and schedule it on a particular date and time, or I can send it in batches uh, with specified intervals. For our campaign, I'm just going to go ahead and use the send now option. So I'm just going to click send and it'll ask for a confirmation. I should just go ahead and click send. And Zoho campaigns will start sending my email campaign. I can come back here and check the report anytime I want to see the progress of it. Let's go back to the email campaign section in the launch tab of Zoho survey to have a look at another way to send email campaigns. Now this is with MailChimp. So first, you need to click start. You need to authenticate MailChimp first. So click authenticate MailChimp and log in with your MailChimp account. And now you'll be taken back uh, to the Zoho survey MailChimp integration page where your mailing list will be listed. So you just choose your mailing list and click next and you fill in your campaign information like the name of your campaign, the from email ID, name, the reply to email ID and click next and you'll be taken to the design step where you can uh, preview your campaign template and you can edit it if you want and if you're fine with your template you can go ahead and click submit and you'll be asked to type in your username and password again please go ahead and sign in with your MailChimp account and your campaigns list will be shown and all you have to do is just click the campaigns list take a look at um, the campaign information and if everything looks good to go, you can go ahead and click send. Click send now and your campaigns will be sent. So with all of these, we come to the end of the webinar on integrations. We hope it was useful. We'll have the Q&A session now so you can go ahead and type in your questions in the chat and our team will answer your questions. And you, as you may have already known, we also have two other webinars, one on the basics of Zoho survey, and uh, which covers everything from creating a survey to publishing it, and finally takes a glimpse into, a glimpse into reports. And we also have an advanced webinar, uh, which we will talk about the various advanced options we have available 
uh, where you create and publish your survey, and also the advanced features of our reports. So you can check them out. Uh, the links for those webinars will be provided in chat or in the web page that you're watching this webinar on. So uh, the survey I've created for, during this session is live now, and you can find the link again in the chat or the web, um, in the web page you're watching the webinar on. And I would encourage you to please go ahead and provide your feedback. And uh, I would be, it, it will help us make our webinars better. And for your specific needs and requirements, please contact us at support at zohosurvey.com and we will be happy to help you. Having all of that said, thank you very much for your patience for watching the webinar. This is Miles Webake signing off. You guys stay awesome. Bye-bye.